You're watching Hexus TV and we're out here at CBIT 2010 in Hanover. We've come over to the Synology stand and with me is Mike Chen. Mike, welcome to Hexus TV. Nick, good to see you again. Yeah, how, how, last time I think we uh, spoke was in uh, Computex, wasn't it? 2007. Yeah, that's it. And I broke your back end, didn't I, you by did. clicking? Yeah, you did. Yeah. You did. Okay. Uh, well, it's interesting that I mentioned that because um, you've now got um, a new version of the um, user interface, haven't you, for your Absolutely. systems? Is it, is it station manager? 2.3. 2 2.3, 2.3. Right. So give us a quick walkthrough um, of what goes on with it. Um, Stefan's right. got his camera on there, so uh, okay. let's, have, let's have a quick look. What, what are the new sort of like, you know, features of, of the software? Well, basically we've done a lot of enhancements, but uh, it's too much detail, so I'll just focus on the new stuff here. Yeah. So let's go onto the homepage here. And uh, first of all, we have the, um, the very big work. It's called the hybrid volume. Okay, hybrid so, volume, yeah. Right, so now you can, you're can you uh, allowed to, you're able, to, capable to uh, pop in combination of multiple sides of hard drives. Okay. And the system will optimize it to uh, the best uh, volume capacity for you with data protection. Okay, so you've got, you've got a match load of 149.05 uh, gig drives there, but you right. could have anything at all really, yeah? Absolutely, combinations. Is, is, is there a minimum size? No, no, there's no restrictions. Okay, so you could just slap in any old drives that you've got knocking around the house. Exactly, yes, and then, flexibilities. And then, um, I, th I think it's probably a bit old old hat, but can you also sort of like start off with three drives and then just extend the, the partition when you add more drives later? Absolutely, you can. this has been around for um, for years now. Yeah, I know, but everyone still right. thinks it's quite cool, don't they? Okay. Yeah, no, uh, yeah, so. Right, what, what, what else is new then in, uh, in this new version? Another cool thing about this, uh, personally, is one of my favorite. It's um, share folder security. Okay. So which one here, uh, you can create a share folder for yourself and simply just add a lock to it, encryption. Yep. So if you just encrypt it and uh, go to edit and you just pop in uh, the sets of passwords to it. So this is for some uh, prevent, if somebody steals your hard drive, yep. right, they will try to access your data, they will need the set of key to unlock it. Yep. So it's good for personal, it's good for home use, it's good for uh, business use. Okay, and uh, when it says uh, shared folder, does that mean that other people, you just tell them the password and they can still access everything and still, you know, they still have all the usual permissions that you'd have? Absolutely, actually uh, there's uh, another feature for it that you can remove it from the end users, so it's only accessible to the administrator. Okay. Two ways for it. Yeah, okay, wonderful. All right, and then uh, any, any, anything else? Because I think you were saying something about the actual back end, weren't you? Oh, about, yeah. About, about the management tools or something like that. Absolutely. You see we have a lot of trees, a lot of functions here. Uh, yeah. Sometimes it gets a little bit messy. So a little cool things here that you can uh, customize yourself. Uh, you want to see this one, this one, and uh, just go click OK, and um, it's more oh, clean. Oh, OK. Yeah, 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 clean. So, so, you, so you can basically get rid of the features you don't want to see there all the time. Yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. OK. Can you set that on a per user basis? Absolutely, yeah. Yeah, so, so each user can customize that bit for how, or you could customize it for them as an admin. Well, actually, this one is only available for the administrators. Okay, gotcha. Right. All right. Okay. Um, now, I know that a lot of people are doing a lot of stuff over, um, you know, they're doing uh, stuff down to iPhone and stuff like that. Are you guys right. got any plans for this sort of thing? Yes. Uh, last year, we have the audio and photo station for your iPhone, which yeah. means you can, you know, stream the photos and uh, music. Uh, through uh, 3G or Wi-Fi. Yep. This year we took it to another level, so surveillance, it's a big thing, right? Yep. So now you can, uh, through 3G or Wi-Fi, surveillance uh, live streaming from the iPhone directly to your camera at your house, your warehouse, your uh, office. So you, so, you, so you can sit there, pick up your iPhone and think, okay, what's going on at my house or wherever, exactly. and you can just punch in through the box to the camera, is that there right? There you go, right. Okay. And can you control the camera? Yes, with your fingers or uh, rotate the angle. We're still um, in progress for this, but uh, the cool thing is, uh, it's like a video game, you know, you can rotate the angles through your iPhone. Like, like a video game until you spot someone and you go, ah! Uh, there you go. <laughs> right, or, you know, just fingers controlling the angles. Yeah, okay. Uh, but we, we can't see that at the minute because it's still being worked on. Is that right? Unfortunately, no. Ah, that's no. a shame. Never mind. Well, unfortunately, there isn't quite yet an app for that. Get it? Uh, Stefan's nodding. He's smiling. Okay. Uh, well, Mike, we're going to have a look at the hardware next, I think, aren't we? So, um, sure, yeah. yeah. That's fantastic. So, check back soon on Hastings TV for more from the Synology stand here at CBIT 2010 in Hanover.